Okay, he jumps. We'll have to remember that, that they can jump, so the wall needs to be a little bit higher. Hey guys, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Today, <laughs> I've been doing quite a bit of stuff behind the scenes. I'm just trying to get, you know, a little bit further ahead so we can start, you know, I guess building some pretty cool or, or better creations. Um, this is our drill truck. It's It actually works fairly well. Uh, I do want to build some more shocks and uh, put them on the drills. Obviously, I want to build more drills. Uh, and then we also need to get into the saw blades, right? But we are running into issues with uh, finding uh, circuit boards and component parts. And the way I know of, kind of an easy way of getting them is to get the robots to attack at night. Now, we do um, have a little bit of an issue with that. That being, uh, don't have like the spud gun or anything really good for defense. So more or less, we're going to be using the hammer. So I don't know how well it will work, but uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to plant our guard in there. I'm I'm kind of interested to see like uh, if how many plants you have to plant before there is a wave of bad guys. And with those waves, like if you plant the minimum, is the wave going to be large or is it just going to be, you know, is it going to be average or is it going to be something else, right? So we'll go with the uh, beets, I guess, for the moment. And once we start planting these, I think eventually it should, a red number should pop up eventually. With giving us a timer. Uh, really, we're out of seeds. I honestly didn't think that. Makes sense though. So there's, what, uh, three rows. So that's 15. Now, of course, we can do this a better way, watering our plants, but once again, we're not there where we can automate watering. There. Okay, so in 13 hours, uh, we'll have our first wave of bots. Now, obviously, our wall isn't that big. Um, I was just using the stone that we had gathered to build it. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's enough to keep them at bay. Now, also, I will show you our truck. I have made some changes to it. Uh, before it was just this. Uh, actually, I don't even know. If... Yeah, I think so. I think I had that in the previous recording or previous episode. Anyways, it was just the front end with the two drills. Now, uh, let's go like this. As you guys can see, I've changed the drills now for two. So this one spins this way and this one spins that way. So they spin into each other. It kind of seems to help when you break down a block or a rock. kind of seems to pull it into the middle where they both start hitting it. But uh, our, our scrap uh, scrap engine here um, doesn't have all that much power. Oh, and, it, and it's out of gas. Um, so every once in a while, it will slow down and die on us. So we have to back up, blah, blah, blah. I have gotten uh, some shocks. Or I just put shocks on this. And made it longer. So I did have these wheels up here. And obviously, when I tried to drive forwards... There wasn't much for steering, so I extended them back from here. Like, so obviously it's lifting from this point over. Actually, no, it's connected there. Sorry. Yeah, it is. It is connected right there. Hmm. So it's almost a waste to have those blocks there. Ah, eh, whatever. So while we wait, we might as well go uh, take out a stone or two, and I'll show you guys how it's working right now. Yeah. We have a lot of weight that we're throwing around in here. Which is kind of interesting too, is that the... The back is so heavy compared to the front. But the front is about to get super heavy. So I, I did note... Okay, wherever that <laughs> chunk of block came out of, that rock came out of. Um, I did notice that... Putting kind of like four-wheel drive, or not, yeah, four-wheel drive on here definitely helps out a lot. As you guys can see, the small engine keeps sputtering and dying on us.
we definitely need to make a, uh, a more complex, I guess, uh, more reliable or easier rock farming machine, but at the moment, this one is working for what we need. <laughs> now, I will admit, we are burning through a lot of gas fairly quickly, but, uh, like I said, when we first started this game, uh, it's kind of, it kind of seems like seven days to die, and a lot of things that we are doing is just like that, so during the night, I'm going out into the water and farming up as much oil as I can, uh, and then coming back to shore during the day, right? There we go. But alright, I'm going to farm some of this up. Probably not going to get it all, but yeah, I'm going to get some stone and some metal for us. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you at night time when uh, our bots are, are, are about to be attacked. Alright, here we go. We're almost there. One hour and 32 seconds left, which is pretty much one minute and 32 seconds left. Uh, I did build the paint gun real quick. Uh, I still have to figure out how to change the color on it, but... Uh, hmm, I don't know. Press H, uh, how to build, bearings, lift, connection tools, no, that's not it. Thrusters, triggers, controller, yeah, nothing we need to know at the moment. Not going to help us out with our tool. Now, obviously, this is just so we can collect component parts and circuit boards for the most part. I know that uh, getting component parts is kind of difficult, but uh, circuit boards, we should be able to get quite a few of them, especially if it's just those... Uh, the smaller, what is it, farm bots? It's not the hay bots. The hay bots are the ones that'll drop some good stuff, but they always drop their arm, right? Uh, but yeah, I think it's the hay bots that we really want. I think they're the hay bots. I mean, not hay bots, farm bots. Farm bots, that's it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. The wall obviously is not that high, but I don't think they jump. But we might be able to, and that's why I also gave a lip or put a lip here. So that they'll attack the outside before they hit the inner wall. Okay, so these are the these are the ones that the exact ones that I wanted. That are popping up from behind. Oh, other than you. Okay, so far. So good. Perfect. Lots of circuit boards. That's exactly what I wanted. I wonder if we take the head, put it right there. Now, I don't know if there's a second wave. Hmm. Just trying to think. Is there a second wave per night? Nope, doesn't look like it. And there's no more timer. So, this worked. Um, It's nothing too fantastic. It's not like that was a crazy wave. We got one... Uh, a bot and a bunch of farm bots, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So uh, we'll see if how many times we got to do that in a row. What did we get anyways? Like how many? We got four circuit boards. I think we got four circuit boards. I'm pretty sure we did because I'm pretty sure I emptied my uh, inventory before we left. Hmm. Oh, and by the way, you guys, this is full of water. You know, obviously stone and metal. Uh, we'll need the stone. Uh, Get rid of that go like that uh obviously i took this chest and i attached it to our truck a long time ago or when i first built it and i believe the water pump is in here somewhere right there so i took the water pump attached to the back attached the chest to the water pump and then i <laughs> went out into the water or backed the my vehicle into the water and turned it on and yeah filled it up with water because we do require water for certain things right so, um, just so you guys know too, just in case you don't know, there is no cancellation button if you start to craft something. So, unfortunately, we have two of these tools. As you can see, one there, one there. <laughs> uh, I accidentally started to craft one, and yeah, it just wouldn't stop. Ooh, we need wood now. Actually, let's see, blocks, As since it's nighttime. Do we have enough? Mm, we should have enough if... Or is it here? Craft... Oh, we'll craft one of those. We'll go over here, grab some steel. That's quite a bit. I want to make another one of these chests, or quite a few of these chests. But you can daisy chain them, or chain them together, so you have you have a larger inventory for it to pull from. And then you can put 
them on this side and it'll automatically empty into other chests. I tried doing it this way on that side, but it just wasn't working. So I'm wondering if you have to use, where are they here? The tubes, these guys, the vacuum tubes or the vacuum pipes. Not 100% sure. We'll figure it out slowly but surely. All right, so they did, uh, beets did grow before the timer ran out. So I don't know. That's, I'm happy that we have that much, I guess. Uh, we got, we got 30, roughly 30 there, but we will, we will replant, uh, just because obviously we need the parts. And there's, uh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys. There, I think that's max at the moment. I don't want to be dealing with too big of waves, like I said. Um, if you do, what is it? Like, we have these points of interest, these other buildings out here. Um, there was one directly behind us. It's like five stories tall. Anyways, we've been through it once before. Uh, but if you, they respawn, or the, what is it? The chests respawn, and the enemies respawn. So you can go back in there and loot everything again. Uh, I think the only thing that I haven't noticed is a gold crate or one of those gold crates respawning. So I think like those don't respawn, but everything else does. So yeah, I want to see if it takes a day or how long it takes. Um, we didn't get the far one. Um, but yeah, we'll go through the night tonight and then uh, during the day tomorrow, I will run over there. See if anything's respawned and if nothing's respawned then uh, that's fine but like it probably every couple of days they re everything respawns so you can go back out over there and do all the looting and we got time right six hours yeah we got time i'll run back over to the base here and i'll show you some of the like i got a ton of components or not i got a ton of circuit boards component parts not too many but i did get some and then also just so you guys know when you do render out your base um, the timer stop on everything. So this this blade just finished. Uh, we'll put it there. So as you guys can see, I ha we have 15 circuit boards now and 12 component parts. We got time. We got time. Look at all the cows, man. And just so you know, you can kill a cow. It just takes a real long time. And then you can take the walk meat. Uh, and there we go. Because you do need the walk meat later on with the, the cook bot. So just so you guys know, it is something that you are going to want to hold on to. Hurry up, 12 seconds, 4 minutes. We're going to be cutting it pretty tight here. <laughs> kind of interesting that you need a circuit board for a vacuum tube. Like, what would you do? Where would the circuit board be? Here or there? I don't know. I think I'm just messing around. I wonder if this fridge... Fridge durability keeps your food fresh. Yeah, but does that really matter? Collect. Uh, did I not? Oh yeah, I don't have it in the in here. And craft one of those. I'm just wondering how much. I wish I would tell you how many uh, storage spots it actually had. And I'm kind of curious as to see if they keep adding more and more stuff inside the game here, like saw blades. You know, it'd be cool if you could make, like, excavators and stuff like that, right? Go we'll like that. Oops. I want it to at least look half decent. There we go. And I'm guessing the blue lights means there's a connection. If we go in here... Oh, yeah. So, there we go. You can see that something... There is a connection out that way. Perfect. Um, is there anything else? We oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Parts, bearings. Craft a bunch of those. Uh, might as well just do infinite. You know, get them all built up. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's get over here. Get ready for nighttime. Uh, should probably eat. Let's eat some carrots. We should actually plant some carrots too. I'm wondering if the the wave changes too per um, item that you actually plant. So we're gonna have three waves in total. I don't know where I'm getting these sun shakes from, but whatever. There we go. 
I... Let's just put these down there. And same with you. Alright, so this wave might be harder than last night's, just due to it being two days in a row. And we do have to figure out, uh, I guess, a better defense. Um, figure out what we want to do for weapons, I guess you'd say. Like, how are we going to kill the bots the quickest? Um, I see some people build, like, crushing machines on the side, uh, which isn't a bad idea. Uh, probably works, or it looks like it works pretty well. But I don't know. I'm just not 100% sure. I do know that the AI is smart enough to dodge um, drills and saw blades, I believe. Like the the bot, the robots actually um, avoid them as much as possible. So I see two hay bots coming in. And then a bunch of farm bots. So swing away, buddy. Swing. Okay, he jumped. We'll have to remember that, that they can jump, so the wall needs to be a little bit higher. And we didn't have any circuit boards on us when we started this night, so we lost the light, which is disappointing. I don't think we can even craft lights. Alright, lots going on as the sun goes down in our wonderful little place. So I think... That is the last log. Yeah, it just chewed up the last log. So let's see here. Uh, what did we start with? 45. Kind of an odd number, 256. 256. It's almost 500 blocks. Uh, like what? Uh, just say 450. 450 blocks out of that one tree. Roughly, let's say. Uh, which is awesome. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I do need those blocks, though. So get over here. All right, now, uh, uh, what is it? We are three hours away, which is three minutes. We'll go like this. We'll load this up. I did build the welding tool. Um, I'm not 100% sure what all the welding tool can do. I know if you, like, uh, let's say, for example, I cut this part off in the middle of our vehicle and it fell over you can pick it up with the welding tool and weld it back on um and then yeah i think you can weld stuff so it becomes more rigid oh what that's insane all right well Whatever. <laughs> I'm guessing it's making like a carbon copy of it. I don't know. Um, but I did put our drill bits over here too, just so you guys know. So let's see. Like I was saying, last night was two hay bots. The night before was one. Let's see if it's three. All right, here we go. Two, one. Okay, so there's one, two, three hay bots for sure coming in. But yeah, it does seem to be a, that's the multiplier. Hmm. So I wonder how many hay bots there has to be before it becomes like one of these bosses. I will admit though, our little wall here is... Oh, no, there's four now. Like, for not having anything special, this little wall is definitely helping. Or working out pretty well. And it's just stone, so it's, you know, we can get it fairly easy. Four, five, six component parts. And one, two, yeah. Uh, Q, stand that up. Stand that up. Stand that up. And are we missing an arm? I know that the Haybots don't always drop their arms. It's a little disappointing. I wanted those parts. All right, we created the big boy wheels, or <laughs> the big wheels. Uh, let's see how they go. Uh, oops. Having an issue turning inwards, as you guys can see. Hmm. After figure that out, almost have to set them back a little bit further. But kind of like that, real quick. 
Uh, do we already have? No. Yeah, and then our last wave is coming. <laughs> uh, but let's get this done first before we have to deal with the wave of guys. So right there, hopefully. That, there. Hmm. Might be still a little too close, but we'll see. We'll see. If anything, it will it will steer a little bit better, but... Now I just have to reconnect everything. So, the seat to that one. Seat to that one. Engine. Oh, no. Wrong engine. <laughs> to that one. And to that. So... Take a look here. Go that way. That way. Perfect. And I believe that side is no. Yeah, I think if we, ugh, I think if we do it that way, it should work. <laughs> right, left. They are bumping into the blocks just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. I feel better about it. But yeah, we definitely need to get them... I guess a little further away from the body of our vehicle. Just so that... Uh, I think they can we can turn a lot sharper than we're able to. But either way, let's get back over to the farm here and uh, see about tonight's wave. Alright, here we go. In our inventory we have no circuit boards, no nothing, so... That's pretty cool. We do have a ton of bearings. <laughs> Not in our inventory, but just created overall. Uh, seven, six. All right. Hopefully we haven't uh, pushed our luck too far here. And uh, so there's one there. One Haybot, that is. Bunch of these other little guys. I think I prefer the little guys over the, the Haybots here. But we are getting circuit boards, so that's... I haven't been getting a lot of heads. Ooh. Right up and over, hey? That must have been because of another... Uh, robot being right in front there. Okay, so we got one more head. Or one head. Uh, Q. There. Actually, tonight's fight wasn't bad at all. Just five circuit boards. All right, you guys, so <laughs> we kind of figured out uh, the farming. We have tons of beetroot now, or red root. Uh, what is it called? Sorry. Red beet. There we go. <laughs> We're starting to get our storage going. Uh, I'm going to be crafting quite a few of these. I'm um, kind of surprised. We don't have any more glue clams, that's why. But uh, yeah, more chests. We're going to increase our inventory. And then, like I said... This is just a temporary place. I do want to move on from this area. I want to move down the road. But uh, I didn't want to move this episode just due to the fact that we needed food, right? Um, but now that... Or not food, but circuit boards and component parts. But now that I'm starting to understand uh, Scrap Mechanic a lot better... Um, yeah, we're going to work on building some crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, mass production of components or parts... And uh, yeah, like I said, probably a mobile base. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.